All right, so anyway, I have, if you can see right here, it says car. So I have a dedicated fuse just for my car. It's the only thing that is hooked to it, and it's the only thing that I plug into it. Right now it's on, so I leave it on here. Now, what I did was I ran it from the panel up with the Romex, it comes all the way through. Whoops, let me open the garage comes all the way through and I have a dedicated here's my charger all right there's my charger and I have a dedicated GFI right here for some reason this thing does not want to focus I have this is the only thing that's on this is the car now while I'm charging it I have my um, charger on okay and the charger comes out here. I've got it plugged in here. And the way you put your thing in is you got this little button here. You got to press it. That pulls it off. And when you put it on, you, you just you just leave it like that and just push it on. And it makes a snap. If you look up here, you'll see this thing clicks in. And it'll show green when it's fully charged. But apparently it's not doing that. All right. But anyway, so that's how I do it. And uh, you want to, if you just pull it out of there, it, sometimes it just goes off. So I, what I do is I go, I unlock the car that lets the car know that I'm going to undo this. So you gotta pop it off by pressing that. And when you do, what it does is it just brings this, if you look, see that? It just pops that off of there and it hooks right onto this little part right here. So that's how you get that thing off. Go like that and it just comes off and then you shut that. All right. And then I just roll it up and put it back over here what I do is I come over here and I use this just as like a switch and I just click that off so now there's no electricity going to that GFI um, that plug that I installed okay and I had electricians come out and double check everything and make sure it was all done correctly and all the wiring was right and so as you can see I leave it in there but if you look over here it's off so there's no heat going to this what you don't want to do is leave this plugged in and on because it will melt I'm telling you right now, these things are not built to have the constant electricity going through them. So only have it, only have it hooked on. Or you could put another plug here that you could turn it on and off, but make sure that you have this off so there's no electricity going to here. All right. So that's completely off. There's no electricity at it. Now when I'm going to charge it, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click that a breaker back on, and that's basically my on and off switch, and that's how, what I use for the car. Uh, when I drive this car, I get about 40 miles to it when it's about 60 to 70 degrees. And uh, it costs me about 30 cents in electricity. So what everybody else is paying three bucks for, I'm paying 30 cents for the same. If everybody knew that, they would buy this car because this car is inexpensive to drive. And um, I've only put, I've had it for 56,000 miles, I've had it for uh, since 2012. And um, this car is so cheap. It uh, doesn't have all of the ancillary things that a regular conventional combustion engine has. What it has is a uh, high technology on it. And this is probably one of the better ones that they ever created because the interior is super awesome. And you know, it's, it's almost eight years old and the thing still is like a spaceship. And um, I'm gonna keep it as long as I can. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos. Peace out.